Hey everybody, welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we're gonna go over all the cool stuff I got, all the manga for the month of September. We begin our journey with Titan Manga. Here we have Three Exorcism Siblings, Volume 2. I really enjoyed Volume 1. Looking forward to continuing the series to see where it goes. It's dark, it's gritty, a lot of supernatural battle action, so I'm looking forward to all the crazy stuff. And here we have Albi the Soul Sender Volume 4. I believe we have three more volumes to go and we'll have the complete series. So far, I think it's been a delight. I really have enjoyed the series and sort of that dark fantasy bishoujo twist to it. From Kodansha, first one happens to be one of my personal favorites, Inspector Volume 20. Can't believe we already have 20 volumes of this series. I know the anime had mixed reception, but if you enjoy the detective aspect, the noirish elements, and of course the yokai lore, you'll be right at home with the manga instead. It is a wonderful series. I do hope you give it a shot. Bless Volume 2. This took forever to arrive. I think more than a month. It came out a while ago and this I believe I got from the Crunchyroll store. It stayed on pre-order for a good while during the summer and randomly it shipped, which I'm okay with. I, I wasn't in a hurry to get this book and read it, but it's wild when you have to wait for a pre-order to be in stock. I really enjoyed Volume 1. I love the art on this series. I do recommend checking it out. Speaking of wonderful art, here is Past the Monster Meat, My Lady, Volume 5. I need to catch up. I'm a few volumes behind, but I do want to talk a little bit more about it because I think it's a fun, underrated series. Speaking of Volume 20s, holy crap, Volume 20 of To Your Eternity, one of my current favorite ongoing series. I love this one so much. I don't think I've read the past four to five volumes, but I am so excited to dig in. I have a huge chunk of material now where I can do so. I don't want to spoil myself too much by flipping through these pages, but it looks really interesting. Can't wait. From Viz Media, here we have In the Name of the Mermaid Princess. I really have been enjoying the story so far. The covers for these books look amazing and the art in it as well. Really fun monster creature shoujo manga. Dandadan Volume 3. I recently told you how I finally got a hold of Volume 2. Well, here's Volume 3. I saw it at Walmart of all places and told myself, why not? I'll pick it up and continue the series because everybody's super excited. The anime is coming up and it's a genuinely fun series that I think everybody should check out. Magi Lumiere Magical Girls Inc. Volume 3. Love this series. I can't wait for the anime to drop. I think that will boost its popularity in my honest opinion, but it doesn't really need it. It has quite a few chapters under its belt already, but this physically looks amazing. I love the character designs. That's probably one of my favorite aspects of this series. Not to mention, of course, the mashup here with uh, corporate Japan with Magical Girls. From Yen Press, one of my favorite isekai series. I do think I need to make a video on my top five modern isekai manga. I think people would enjoy my thoughts on those. And this is definitely on the list. Handyman Saito in Another World, Volume 5. Genuinely a great ongoing manga. Cannot recommend it enough. I think I've talked about it before on the channel, but I need to make that video and uh, go a little bit more in depth with uh, Saito in Another World. I talked about Volume 1, here's Volume 2, finally, of The Tiger Won't Eat the Dragon Yet. This is a wonderful little series. I love the art. Visually, I think this is one of the best looking series to come out in North America for 2024. Holy crap, this looks amazing. The Summer Hikaru Died, Volume 4. I'm two volumes behind, but I had to grab it and, and keep up with all the cool kids. This looks stunning, and I can't wait to continue the adventures here on this spooktastic manga. And finally, we have a bunch of big releases from Seven Seas Entertainment. The first one is Die Dark Volume 7. I need to go back because I don't remember a few of the elements that happened in prior volumes, but I did grab this from In Stock Trades. It was one of their deals of the week, so that was very exciting to have a popular manga being released on that website heavily discounted. 
one of my favorite battle shonen manga, Kemono Jihen Volume 12, looking fantastic. I am a sucker for Yoko Inari for reasons. I'll leave that to your imagination, but I, I, I just think she's a cool adversary for the group. <laughs> And speaking of adversaries, this is out of the norm for the channel. It's not super embarrassing at all. I just found it funny that this is here with the rest of the books. I picked up the thick edition, the omnibus edition, if you will, of Do You Like Big Girls Volumes 1 and 2 combined. This genuinely has good art, and thanks to my good friends at my Discord server who wanted me to review this for scientific purposes, and they bullied me into getting it. So. Yeah, happy now, guys. I grabbed it. <laughs> Do you like Big Girls Thick Edition? Oh boy, I, I can't even show you most of what's inside here. You know, uh, stuff that's happening down below will be censored, but everything on top is uh, up for your viewing. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but let's go with it. Nos and Sakuro from Rariato. This was one of my most anticipated releases for 2024. A very wholesome, lovely series that very much reads like a webcomic instead of a manga. At, at least those are the vibes that I get when I check out this book. I will be talking about it in an upcoming first impressions video, so look forward to that. But yeah, lovely series. I do recommend it. If you want a fun, wholesome, spooky manga, this will be right up your alley. Next up, the final volume of Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, Volume 5 Deluxe Edition, finally out. We have the full series. I didn't think we would ever see Yokohama licensed, and shout out to Seven Seas for grabbing it, and of course committing to releasing all five of these deluxe omni style editions. A wonderful series, so heartwarming and soul searching at times, and I, I I genuinely love it. Can't wait to dig into Volume 5 and finish off the series. Once I do, I might actually make a dedicated video to sort of the vibes that this manga brings. So look forward to that. Here we have Don't Call It Mystery Omnibus Volume 5. This contains Volumes 9 and 10 within. And from what I've seen around, not a lot of people are picking this book up, but I do highly recommend it. It is a phenomenal slice of life mystery oriented series from one of the goats of the manga world, Yumi Tamura. I cannot recommend it enough. I've talked about it before on the channel. I actually have a dedicated first impressions video on Volume 1 if you want to check it out. I do recommend it. Please consider getting this. Finally, we finish off this whole video with Orb on the Movements of the Earth, Omnibus Edition, I guess, Volume 3, which contains Volumes 5 and 6. We only have one more to go and we'll have the full series. I've read half of this so far. I'm waiting for that Volume 4 to read everything, all that's left in one go, but genuinely enjoy it. I talked about it before on the channel if you want to check it out. Love this series. So there it is, my haul video for the month of September, although the month just started, so technically this is the stuff that I got in August, a little bit of July, you know how it is. I'm always getting packages super late, so yeah, look forward to more haul videos soon. If you want me to review any of the books that I showed today, let me know in the comment section down below. Also let me know what were some of your favorite pickups for the month of July, August, or even now in September. Thank you everybody for tuning in, for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the channel. I truly do appreciate it. Let me remind you once again that I do have a Discord server if you want to join, filled with wholesome, wonderful people in there talking about manga, anime, toys, video games, what have you. So if you'd like to join, the link is in the description below. So that's going to be it. Thank you everybody once again. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.